ass crazy, bitch. Yeah. yeah. She's been giving you some misleading information. I'd like you to understand something. My office has looked at your case up and down, and we think a plea is a good idea. That way you can be near your son. I know that's important to you, yes? So my purpose here today is to find out if it's still your intention to plead guilty. Ms. Waters, is it your intention to plead guilty? I want to go to court. First, Crystal, you mean you've worked with Sydney Portier. Guys, we're rolling in there. I'm sorry, go ahead. Uh, you've worked, you've had such an illustrious career from uh, in, the, in the Heat of the Night to working with Sydney to all these great movies. But how does it feel to be lead and finally be the, the head of that key art, that poster, and, and be in that position? You know? It's gone on and taken so long that I'm trying to just absorb it all. Um, the hardest thing was to go to work, and I, I, my same crew was there as for Have and Have Nots, and they all keep kept having to remind me. They were like, no, Miss Voss, you're number one, you're number one. And I was like, what does that mean? And they had to tell me what that meant. Um, so it's overwhelming, and it's, um, I'm so grateful. As I'm just trying to sit in the moment and take it all in. How, I mean, you're, you're from the country country. And Wait a minute, what you <laughs> Try on, try on oh, North Carolina. Well, you know, yeah, I, was, I was born in North Carolina. I, I never lived there. I lived in Detroit, Michigan, but oh. that was my mom's hometown. And so she went home for the holidays. I was born New Year's. Oh. So I was born in Tryon, North Carolina. My, some of my family is still from there. My aunt Nina Simone was born there as well. My father, my mother, everybody. Um, so yeah, I was born there, grew up in Detroit, Michigan, and segued to Atlanta. I, I, How did you miss that Nina Simone's niece? I, I did hear that. That's, that's, that's <laughs> huge. That's huge. Uh, but I, I, I don't mind. I'm joking. I don't mind when you say you're from the country because it's a good blend of good people. I mean, I thought that's where you got that Officer Luann. That, in that the thing. Like, yeah, Christ. I thought. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Grace. Yeah. It's two things I don't like. Okay. One is being checked up on. And the others being questioned. I, I got to ask you, I mean, I know everybody's been talking about uh, writer's room and everything else, but there's a there's something in this movie that I think is going to trend on Twitter. Mm -hmm. And excuse my language, but it's, it's ashtray bitch. Can you tell me, you, ever, you don't remember this, that, that line? Ashtray bitch. Somebody said I, that. I don't know if you heard that. Oh, ashtray. I know what it is. He was calling oh, for oh, something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I just, yeah. just want to, like, where's space? You didn't say it right. Ashtray, bitch. Yeah, yeah. 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 I thought it was yeah. a kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, what about it? I just, I just want to know, like, those little bits, when you when you put those things into the, uh, into the script, into the play, do you are you going for that reaction from the audience in the film? Because your films are different. Everything than... I'm doing, I'm going for the audience. I don't know why people don't get it, man. Every time I write a show, that's why I don't have a writer's room, because I had a writer's room at one point, and the, as they were writing, the audience, I was losing the audience, my ratings were going down. I know specifically who I'm talking to, how I'm talking to them, what they want to hear. I am clear about that. So yeah, Astray Bitch was one of those moments that I knew that's not in the script. As I'm watching a scene, I scream it out, say, hey, say Astray Bitch. Yes. And because that was my father's doing stupid stuff like that, you know? And it, and I know it's gonna get a reaction, but that's what the movie's about, to get under your skin. Yeah. yeah. And that's the beauty of having the writer who is the director there, because it is it, that's how we work with TP. Yeah. Something he can watch what you're doing and what you're bringing to a moment, and then he'll see another moment, and he will say, because he'll say yeah. say the line and then yeah. or yell out the line, and then you say it and add it, and it just uplifts it to another level. Yeah, I, I have to I have to ask you because you've done a tremendous thing 
uh, with the studio and, and, and the grand opening was magnificent. I'm, I'm sad I missed it. But uh, I, I wonder, you're in Atlanta, you've been on TBS, you now have BET Plus. Is Tyler Perry going to have his own TV network? It's, everybody's getting away from TV, actually. This whole new generation is going towards streaming. So BET Plus is a big move, and to own a part of that is a big move. So I think that's where I land. At one point, I talked about a, a, a channel, cable channel, but a lot of people are unplugging from cable, and they're watching their streaming. So I'm in the right place now. Right. Yeah. I, I love this. I love this film. It was so fun to watch in the theater with with yeah. fans, and uh, I keep on doing stuff. I love you. you have this relationship with Netflix now too. So keep on do, making you. movies. Keep on acting. I'll keep on watching. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. you. Feel better. <laughs>